That's me rowing a boat. Because today's review is Visitors from Umbrella Entertainment. And it has a boat in it. Thanks for checking in, guys. Uh, like I said, I am reviewing Visitors from Umbrella Entertainment. This is actually my second review today. I know, crazy. I'm getting so many people watching, I just have to work overtime. <laughs> no one watches. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Umbrella Entertainment, like I said, I reviewed Fair Game on Cosploitation. I love Umbrella Entertainment. I love what they do. I love what they release. Uh, this time I am actually reviewing a DVD, which I don't normally... I don't know. I got out of DVDs. I'm now into Blu-rays. DVDs are not really anything special, but I'm not going to turn down a copy of a movie that looks good and from an awesome company. So I decided I am going to review Visitors. So I got it in the mail. Um, it's, it's an okay movie. Um, it stars, uh, God, Rada Mitchell, you know, the girl from Silent Hill, Rada, Rada Mitchell, Rada, 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 and it also has Dominique Purcell, uh, which you know from Prison Break and maybe from whatever that show is. Uh, the DC show where he plays Fireball Man. Whatever. Uh, he's in it. Um, the actual movie is about um, Georgia Perry, so Radha Mitchell. So she is, it's an Australian film, and she is going to be sailing the world. And she's going to join like a very small amount of people who have actually sailed the world. So she's going to go sailing the world. And on her home stretch, just before she gets back, she gets trapped in this weird kind of fog area and there's no wind and her boat is stuck there. And according to the contest, like according, well not contest, but according to the challenge, you're not allowed to use your boat, your motor, and no one can come aboard. So she can't use her motor, so she has to wait for the wind to pick up again. So she's like starting to go crazy because she's stuck and it's like been days and she can only talk to her husband on the radio and stuff like that and uh so she just starts going crazy she starts seeing people starts seeing her family starts seeing her father her mother who like was like a little crazy she had like some depression issues and so i'm not saying people that are depressed are crazy but this woman was crazy and uh she starts you know just seeing ghosts basically and you know and, and the film can get quite chilly uh chilly <laughs> scary at times Okay, well, maybe not scary. Uh, maybe a little goosebump inducing. A little bit, like, not much, but you know, um, there is a little bit of weirdness for sure. Um, especially some sort of, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, no, you won't be able to see that. But on the back cover, there's this guy wearing like a white, kind of looks like a banana hammock, and he has a spear, and he has like tattoos all over him. He like, she dreams about having sex with him and stuff. I don't know where that was going with that. Um, that was a little weird. Um, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's really it. I mean, uh, the film was shot in 2003, so it has some CGI in it. Because, you know, all early 2000 movies had to have CGI, even if it was absolutely terrible. Like, super terrible. And, uh, Visitors has some terrible CGI. Uh, there's a part later on where she uh, has to go and under her boat and clean her barnacles. That's not a euphemism for anything. That's actually what she has to do. And there's these like spiders that crawl out and stuff like that. It was really creepy, but it would have been creepier if it wasn't really terrible CGI. Um, and yeah, like that's honestly the movie. She like goes a little crazy and kind of just goes from there. Uh, I'm not going to ruin it, I'm not going to say anything more, because, you know, you know, the point of watching a movie is to find out what happens. Um, would I recommend checking out The Visitors? I think so, I enjoyed it enough. It had kind of, um, it felt like it was a play. Like, it was on, like, a, it, it's very much on a set. You can tell it's on a set, uh, like in a tank water when she's on the ocean. There is actually ocean scenes, too, but when she's, like, sitting there in the fog, um, everything kind of had a play feel to it, like... I don't know, like, had this, like, 
kind of ghosts of Christmas past kind of play feeling where like these people show up and stuff. I don't know. It was, it was kind of neat. Like there was a few creepy parts. There was a few weird parts. Um, yeah, but it's definitely, there's definitely some lower quality pieces to the film. Um, it doesn't help that it is DVD, so it's not super sharp looking. I'm not saying DVD is terrible. I mean, people still collect DVD, people still buy DVD. So, I mean, there's nothing terribly wrong with DVD, but how many times can I say DVD, DVD, DVD? Um, as for the DVD special features, um, there is not much. There's photo galleries, there's a trailer, and there is the awesome thing that they used to do on DVDs, uh, the cast and crew biographies. I don't know if you remember this, like a lot of the films that came out back then, they would have like, they would have the characters, like the actors in the film, and you would click it, and it would actually just give you a bio of what they've done. I don't, they don't do much on Blu-ray anymore like that, so, you know, it's kind of cool. Um, but that's it. That is the movie. Uh, it's 5.1, it's 235.1, so it's 69. Widescreen has a nice film look to it, even though it looks like a made-for-TV film. Um, yeah, that's Visitors. Um, it does say that it is from the director of Road Games. Um, that would be another, I think that's another Australian film. And the writer of Razorback, which Umbrella Entertainment is supposed to be releasing soon on Blu-ray. Can't wait for that. Um, would I recommend this film? I think it's worth checking out once. I think it's worth checking out just to see if you're going to like it or not. I enjoyed it. I was bored at times, for sure. I was completely taken aback by the terrible CGI. Um, but still, you know, she does a great job. She's a great actress. Um, it's, basically her, it's basically her vehicle. There is a lot of flashbacks where other people can start to film, but like, there is sections where it's just her on the boat and then like people show up but it's really just her and the talking cat but i let you see that for yourself um also she does get into a bikini which is awesome you know because i am a red-blooded male and she looks awesome in a bikini um as for buying it yeah you know like it's a dvd so it's not going to be super expensive maybe you want to pack your collection with kind of eerie ghost sea tales this would be kind of the one to get so i mean yeah sure if you can get it cheap why not um i might as well give it a rating i would rate it overall a seven you know overall seven entire movie dvd whatever it's a seven it's good enough to watch um that's it there's no reverse sleeve or anything like that so that is visitors on dvd i hope you enjoyed this hastily put together review, and uh, yeah, have a good day. I'm gonna go back to boating.